Welcome to the City of San Diego's Pure Water Demonstration Facility. This facility is a key element of the San Diego Pure Water Program, which will provide half of the city's water supply by 2035. The Pure Water Demonstration Facility uses advanced technology to treat recycled water to meet drinking water standards. This facility, here since 2011, has produced over a million gallons per day of purified water that is used for monitoring and testing. The results of this testing, combined with input from scientists, health experts, and outside laboratories, has shown that it is a safe new water supply for the City of San Diego. We're pleased to have you join our engineers, operators, and other staff associated with the Pure Water Program on your virtual tour of these facilities today. Phase one of the Pure Water Program, which includes a full-size treatment facility, pipelines, and pump stations, has been designed and construction is well underway. The first step of San Diego's water purification process is called ozonation. Ozone gas is a powerful oxidant and is generated here on site by subjecting oxygen molecules to a high electrical voltage, converting O2 to O3. That's done by specialized equipment that's inside of the white metal container back there. That gas is then infused in the water and then it carries through a series of blue pipes called the ozone contactors. The contactors then provide time in which ozone can then react with constituents in the water. Ozone is very reactive and it will break down pathogens that can cause us harm by destroying their outer cell walls. It can also break down other smaller molecules to more basic forms. It takes about eight minutes for the water to pass through this process. The second step is the biological activated carbon filters. By the time the water reaches the filters here, all the ozone in it will have either been consumed or it'll break down to O2, its more stable form. Inside of the filters is a media just teeming with beneficial bacteria. These bacteria consumes the organics that were broken down by the ozone process. We get about 30 to 50% removal of organic matter from this process. The beneficial bacteria are then removed in the next step along with any other thing that gets through the filter. And here we are at the third barrier of the water purification process. It's called the membrane filtration. At this stage, recycled water is pushed by high pressure pumps through filtration membranes that's made up of thousands of hollow fibers. These fibers have very fine pores that filter out particles, bacteria, and protozoa in the water. It's 99.9% .9 of the particles cannot pass through this process. We're testing two types of membranes. On the left is the ultrafiltration. On the right is the microfiltration. The difference between these two types of membrane is that ultrafiltration take out additional organic matter, but it also operates at high pressure and requires more energy to do so. One million gallons per day of water passes through these two equipments. Half a million goes to the ultrafiltration and the other half goes through the microfiltrations. All membranes are tested and monitored daily to confirm the integrity of the membrane filters. It only takes one minute for water to pass through these membranes. To prevent particle buildup on the membrane fibers, a process called backwashing occurs every 30 minutes. Backwashing reverses the flows of water and uses air scouring to shake off any particle buildup on the membrane fibers. As the water gets processed through the membrane filtrations, it comes together here at this 15,000 gallon storage tank where it is ready to get processed and move on to the next barrier that's called the reverse osmosis. Okay, now for reverse osmosis. So, reverse osmosis is an extremely powerful treatment technology. It's able to remove 
0.9% of what remains in the water after it's already gone through the three steps you've already seen. And we are actually testing two types, two configurations and two manufacturers. The reason we did this is we wanted to be able to compare the performance of the membranes, how much removal we're able to get, um, and then also be able to measure the energy consumption since this is a pretty energy intensive treatment step. So similar to the membrane filters and the other processes you've already seen, we're constantly monitoring the water as it enters the RO membranes and exits. We want to make sure that we're getting the removal of the dissolved salts and the dissolved organic compounds that we expect. And so the way we do that, our operators pull samples from ports like these throughout the day. Each one of these is plumbed to an individual canister of membranes. So we take the water and we test it for temperature, electric conductivity, and other parameters just to make sure that the, the membranes are working properly. So if you follow me around the corner, we'll show you what they look like. are actually these plastic sheets and they're rolled in consecutive layers similar to a roll of paper towels. So you have the membrane and in between you have these net, this netting. It acts as a spacer. And so how it works is it's tightly wound. The water is forced under pressure on the outside of the canister and it makes its way through each layer of the membrane. And what happens is those dissolved salts and organic compounds that we want to remove from the water, they get trapped in between the sheets and they're forced out the ends of the canister. They're not allowed to continue on in the process. And so all that makes it through is the filtered water that gets to the center of the membrane. And this is what goes on to the next step in the process. And there you have it, that's reverse osmosis. We are now at the fifth and final barrier of the Pure Water Demonstration Facility, Advanced Oxidation with Ultraviolet Light. When the water leaves the reverse osmosis unit, a powerful disinfectant is injected into it. This unit right here produces ultraviolet light, which is similar to extremely concentrated sunlight. There's actually 72 bulbs just like this wound up inside of the unit. When that ultraviolet light hits that disinfectant, powerful reactant molecules are formed, which actually destroy any matter that happens to be left in the water at that point. It's so powerful and so fast that in just one second, 99.9999% of all protozoa, bacteria, and viruses are all destroyed. This process also helps to ensure that no new matter is formed in the water going forward. And after this step is finished, we have purified water. Now that the water has gone through the five treatment steps that you've seen, the water is pure and distilled water quality. The water produced at this one million gallon per day demonstration facility is tested to ensure that it meets all drinking water standards. As you can see, the water is pure, just as pure as the water that comes from the tap in your home. In fact, it's so pure, that we'll have to add minerals back into the water before we pipe it to Miramar Reservoir. The water produced here at the demonstration facility is being returned to the recycled water system for irrigation and industrial uses. Phase one of the Pure Water program will construct a 30 million gallon per day full-scale facility that's 30 times larger that will use the same technology that you saw here in the demonstration facility. I hope you enjoyed this look at the City of San Diego's Pure Water Demonstration Facility. We invite you to visit purewatersd.org to get more information about this important project for San Diego's future.